But uh, they're managing. The boys in blue, the deep blue out there, yeah. If there's a shark out there, they're going to get On the left-hand side, some of Wisteria Lane from ABC's Desperate Housewives. They're shooting good girls down that street right now. Yes, indeed. Great street for commercials. Why him with Brian Cranston and James Franco shot down there? Oh, that's not supposed to be parked there, Ludwin. Let's make the call to security, yeah? They don't even have a drive-on pass. That seems a little weird, huh? Why am I getting flashbacks to an angry bald guy driving that car? That's weird. Okay. Don't worry about it. We're going to take care of it. Now, I did mention Spielberg, uh, and I, I want to talk a bit more about him because he really did define our company for a number of years. Movies like Jurassic Park, E.T., and Jaws, really those define the studio. And that's because they hail back to... <laughs> All right. Well, Norman, uh, just stay on the porch and try to stay away from the tourists. Norman, Norman. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they come right there. That's not okay. Ladies and gents, we've made our way onto one of the most immense and impressive sets on the back lot. This is the incredible plane crash site from Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. Based on the book by H.G. Wells, a radio play by Orson Welles. That's a real 747 on the left-hand side. 60 grand to buy the plane from a junkyard. 200,000 additional to get it shipped to this location. That was get you with that shipping and handling. And, of course, this was used for less than five minutes of the final film. I'm sure you want to see some of those. So here they are on your screen. More from Mr. Spielberg and his production designer. Ricardo. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all